with her six mad minutes. Let's see if I can get it in for you today. So I have got a very fundamental joy shot for you today that can boost your mood, change your state um, in, in a very short period of time. And if you keep practicing this, it will really start to change the way you um, the way you be in the world, and I know that's not correct grammar, but it's it's what I want to say. So this is called the instant boost technique. And to make it simple for you to understand, I have given it the A, B, C. Now each A, B and C has two elements to it. And you use this technique when you notice that your state of mind or the way that you're feeling isn't the way you want it to be. So let's give you an example. So let's go for the first part, number one, A. A stands for awareness. Awareness of your feeling, awareness of your state of mind, awareness that you realise that you're reacting and overreacting perhaps emotionally to things or you're being more angry and more defensive than usual. Awareness that your feeling are not, you know, in your stomach, in your shoulders. Awareness that actually you're feeling really quite sort of full of brain fog at the moment. You can't focus. Awareness that um, that you're very lethargic at the moment and just can't seem to be motivated. So those are all different states, aren't they? Different states of mind, different states of emotion. And if it's a state that isn't helping you at the moment and perhaps harming you, then this technique will help you to change it. So that is your first part, A, awareness. Bring your awareness to how you're feeling. Be curious about it rather than trying to push it away and resist resist it, be curious with it, yeah, be open with it. And the openness is the second element of the A, it's, it's acceptance. Accept that you feel this way, accept that you might be stressed at the moment, accept that you might be overreactive, accept that you feel jealous, accept that you feel low. And acceptance is a superpower in, in our world and big happiness. It really is a true superpower because everything that we resist keeps persisting. It keeps on coming to us. Whereas if we allow and we are aware and we allow and we accept, then things can move through our nervous system and out the other side and we've moved through it. So that's the A, awareness and acceptance. The B stands for belly breath. Now, a belly breath is a diaphragmatic breath in through the nose, down past the chest, into the belly, and then hold it there for a few seconds, and then release that air through your mouth. Now, there's a reason why I'm asking you to do it that way. When you breathe in through the nose, science has proved now that that actually stimulates your brain and it stimulates the mood part of your brain, your, your hippocampus. So um, when you breathe in through the nose, you then take the air in and take it past your chest and into your belly. So literally your belly needs to expand on your in-breath, which is possibly the opposite way to how you normally breathe. Um, it is a learnt response how we breathe, by the way. We naturally breathe in the way I'm asking you to do, into the diaphragm. So take a deep breath in. Let the belly come out. Hold on to that for a few seconds. And then let that out. Through the mouth. Can you see? Even if you want to, when you breathe out, sort of make a noise. So breathe in. Hold on to it and breathe out. <sighs> when you make a noise through here, you're stimulating the vagus nerve. Now you're, all, you're all already stimulating the vagus nerve when you're doing this breath. The vagus nerve is the VIP vagus in our world. And that actually helps to send a message to your brain to say that the body's relaxing and then the brain sort of helps the body do that. So that's the B, belly breath. So on to the final element, which is the C. 
Now this C stands for conscious choice. When you have been aware and accepted and then you have breathed to actually calm down physiologically your body and then psychologically because the brain and the mind follow suit, what you have done is you have given yourself some consciousness, some awareness, some space. And instead of being in that reactive place where you are not aware of what you're doing, you've given yourself some space. I call it a choice point. And you can now make a choice. And actually the C stands for another C, which is creativity. Now, now not creativity as in art and uh, crafts, but creativity in here. To be able to create how you want to feel, to be able to create the thoughts that you want to think, to be able to have that conscious choice to create how you now want to feel. So there's a lot more to this, but I'm doing this within the six minutes and I've gone over, which is not unlike me. Um, so that is the instant boost technique. Give it a try, give it a whirl, use it throughout your day. Acceptance, awareness, belly breathing and conscious choosing. I hope you enjoyed that and um, oh, there is my tea and I will see you on another video soon. Take care. If you've enjoyed this video, then I would highly recommend you check out the courses that we have available at the moment. On the Big Happiness website, you will find links to any courses that we've got available. Two that I would highly recommend to you are one, um, Hardwiring Happiness. That is a seven day experiment into learning how you can start to hardwire your brain and your nervous system for happiness. It is jam-packed with tools, with techniques, with knowledge, with the science of self. So that's number one. Number two, if you fancy a deeper dive and a much more experiential experience, then I would recommend Boost to you. Now, Boost stands for Biohacks to Optimize and Organize Self-Exploration and Transformation. Basically, it's about helping you to build real resilience um, amid fear and uncertainty. So if you're ready to make sense of your thinking, your behaviours, your negative patterns, uh, those patterns of protection that I like to call them, um, then Boost would be a good place for you to go and uh, explore yourself. So have a look at the links and I hope to see you there.